In this video, we look at how to stop caring about what people think of you. This by far is one of the greatest fear, one of the greatest things that blocks people from doing the things that they want, that blocks people from being who they want, that blocks people from expressing themselves, that blocks people from just being themselves. We have so much emphasis into wanting other people to like us, wanting other people to appreciate us, validate us, see us in a good way, that it really inhibits us, it pressures us, it stresses out, it makes us anxious, and it blocks us from truly living our best life. Now, why do we care so much about what people think of us? Well, here's the thing. We all want to feel important. We all want to feel significant. We all want to feel special. Even if you don't like to admit it, even if you play it humble, we all have this innate need to feel good about ourselves and to be liked, to belong, to be seen in a good way. That means that if other people don't like us, if other people criticize us, if other people reject us, if other people see us in a bad way, it affects that need that we have. And so what it does is that it makes us feel insecure, embarrassed, ashamed, afraid. And we don't like to feel that way. And so what we do, we protect ourselves from going those places. And that's why we have this fear or this over worry, this being too careful, like working on eggs, you know, just like being too careful about what other people might say, avoiding making us feel stupid, avoiding making us feel embarrassed. And you know the drill. So here's the thing. I want you to consider something that will help you greatly in overcoming this fear and that will help you greatly free yourself from that. Because it is possible, but it's like a muscle that you have to exercise. But first, I want you to understand something very important about what is at the root of that fear. I'm going to tell you a story. A couple of months ago, when my channel was at even less subscribers, maybe about half, 300 subscribers or so, People were asking me, oh, are you on YouTube? How is your YouTube channel going? And, you know, those type of questions. And I was feeling a little bit embarrassed because I only had 300 subscribers or so. And so even though I was, you know, making a lot of videos and I was trying to grow my channel, it was growing very slowly. And that was making me feel like, oh my God, I only have 300 subscribers. What am I going to do, right? So I thought that people will judge me or people will look down at me because I only had that little amount of subscribers and it's not like a success kind of thing. And so I had resistance toward telling people how many subscribers I had or about my YouTube channel. But can you see the true cause of that? It's because I wanted people to see me a certain way. Successful, good, you know, getting my shit together and blah, blah, blah. That's how I wanted to be seen by those random people around us that don't really even matter. But it's something we project, it's something we do automatically. That means that if I remove the need to be seen in that way, I can be free from what they think about me. I'm going to say it again. If I remove the need of being seen a certain way, being successful, being good, being beautiful, being all those type of things that we want to be seen as, if I remove that need to be seen as that, then those people's opinion has no power on me because I have, no seen, I have no need in being seen in any way. And the moment I did that, the moment I removed the need to be seen as a successful YouTuber or successful guy on YouTube that's making, you know, that's a big channel or whatever, the fear just lessened dramatically because I didn't care anymore. I was just doing my thing. I was growing my channel. I like it and that's enough. So I validated myself in the process because I wanted to do that. I wanted to start this channel and I'm doing it. So here's a question for you. What is the need that you have to be seen in a certain way? How do you want people to see you? Do you dress a specific way because you want other people to see how beautiful you are, how sexy, how youthful you are, how full of energy you are? Do you post certain type of photo on Instagram and Facebook and do you appear in a certain way? Because you want other people to see you as successful, making a lot of money, having the girls, the guys, that kind of lifestyle. And if you look at your behaviors, even the automatic one, the subconscious one, if you just look at it through the lenses of what are you gaining from that, 
you will see the needs that you're trying to get from other people. And the moment you let go of that attachment, you will be free from what other people think of you regarding this. But there is a counterpart here that is very rarely talked about. We also have a need to not be seen in a bad way. For example, a client of mine told me he doesn't want to be seen as stupid. Right? So think about this. If you have a fear of being seen as stupid because maybe you have a belief somewhere that tells you maybe I'm stupid a little bit and you don't want to be seen as stupid, Imagine how this is going to affect the decisions you make, the behaviors you make, the things you do, the things you don't do, simply because you don't want to risk appearing this way. So maybe you're not going to go talk to strangers, maybe you're not going to approach that man or that woman that you like, maybe you're not going to have or share that idea that you have at work, maybe you're not going to start your YouTube channel because you're afraid that you're going to say something stupid, that you're going to look stupid or that you're going to embarrass yourself. So as much as we want to be seen in a positive way and meet certain specific goals, of course, we also don't want to be seen in a specific negative way. And when we can let go of both those attachments, you will be in such a powerful place when it comes to not caring about what people think of you. Because if you accept that you have a part of you that is stupid or that is ugly or that is whatever fear you have, and you accept that because we all have negative parts. We all have flaws. We all have weaknesses. But that's not all we are. It's, this is just a tiny part. But if we make peace with it, that will no longer hold us hostage. But it's only holding you hostage because you're afraid of being exposed as this. But if we take that example of being stupid, everybody does stupid things in their life. Everybody says stupid things in their life. Everybody makes stupid decisions sometimes. It's just the way it is. And if you don't, then it means that maybe you're living too carefully. Maybe you're too afraid of taking risks. But the moment you really accept that, it loses its power over you and the fear would dramatically lessen and you'll gain that power back. And as you observe those needs and as you let go of that attachment, you may feel a little bit weird at first. It's like buying a new pair of shoes and you put it on and at first it feels uncomfortable. You know that old pair of shoes that you really like fits so much better and the new one kind of feel weird. But if you walk in it a couple of kilometers and you walk a couple of hours, at some point it just starts to fit. It feels comfortable. You make that shoes as you walk in it and it becomes normal. So as you focus on no longer caring about those attachments, no longer caring about that validation that you're trying to get from other people and you start to validate yourself in the process and you let go of that attachment of all those fears that you have about being negative or appearing in a negative way somehow, you'll find yourself in such a peaceful way regarding to other people's opinion. And this, guys, is priceless because the moment you allow yourself to express yourself, to do the things that you want without caring too much but what other people might say, won't say, will say, life becomes so much easier. And you are able to unleash more of your real potential, more of your real personality, more of your real ideas. And that is priceless. And your uniqueness is what people need the most. I will see you in my next video, guys. Please let me know what you think down in the comment. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Be well.